It seems like today there are e-bikes everywhere, and for good reason. They look awesome, they're super efficient, and just fun to ride. But you know, as well as I do, they're not cheap. So we're gonna build one for $500. Uh, right now we're headed to Goodwill. Hopefully they have something. Okay, by some stroke of luck, we actually found the perfect bike. It's a 26 inch rim, it's got rear suspension, and it's 20 bucks. This $20 bike was going to be the base for our crazy e-bike. Right now it might not look like much, but we have a plan to make this thing insane. To build an e-bike, the first thing you need to ask yourself is where do you put the battery? These are just going in the trash. And after stripping down this bike completely, we kind of realized there was no place for the battery. We're gonna take this bar and yank it. So we made one. This is our battery. It has 48 volts, 10 amp hours, and it's only seven pounds. The best part is we got this thing on Amazon for 179 bucks, and it should give us hopefully 50 miles of range. Once the bar was cut out, it left us with the space to put the battery. Our plan is to get two sheets of metal to sandwich the battery where it can't go anywhere. Rivets. rivets are one of our favorite things. Here's why. Dude, we have a battery holder. The hardest part of this battery holder right here is the top of it. We want it to look professional and awesome. So we took 30 minutes to draw out this piece of metal that we're gonna cut and bend, and hopefully it'll just It'll just go right on and look awesome. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! This is our motor controller and all we're gonna do with this is just bolt it right here. Good timing. Dude, look how good this bike's starting to look. It looks really cool. After that motor controller was mounted, we took the rest of the bike apart to get ready for paint. typically fall within four motor sizes, 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 watts. The higher this number is, the faster the e-bike. So of course, we went with the fastest one, the 1,000 watt. We bought this thing on Amazon for $170, and it came with a throttle, a screen, and basically everything you need but the battery. But with all this talk about speed, we can't forget about slowing down. Which is precisely the reason we got rid of the old front brakes and bought brand new four-piston hydraulic disc brakes. But to get the caliper attached, we had to do some custom fabrication. Dude, nice. Trust. Whoa. <laughs> then once the brakes were on the hub motor, we started putting the entire bike back together. Working in the shop all day, it's important to stay hydrated. And sometimes I like a drink that doesn't taste like water. But sodas, juice, and sports drinks are all loaded with sugar and a lot of times, I end up drinking nothing at all. Air Up is the world's first hydration system that flavors plain water through scent. All you need to do is fill the bottle up with plain water, pop the flavor pod on there, lift the pod to activate it, and boom, it tastes like strawberries. And it's not mixing anything into the water. I might drop the whole bike. Then we put on the back wheel, tighten the chain, and then the front wheel which doubled as our motor. If I want to change the flavor, all I do is pop this off and put on another one. Now it tastes like cherry cola, and I didn't even have to change the water inside. Also, the holidays are right around the corner. Air Up is the perfect gift for anybody who wants to stay healthy and hydrated. Again, 
It's the world's first hydration system that flavors water through scent. Gift with taste this holiday season with Air Up. Click the link in the description to shop their biggest sale ever with up to 40% off on all orders from November 20th through the 27th. Then we put all the accessories on and finished the wiring, which was pretty easy since this was a kit. I can't believe we turned that old bike into this. It was so hard to believe that we took an old bike from Goodwill and with $500 made it into one of the coolest looking e-bikes I've ever seen. Next to our $500 e-bike, is a $3,000 e-bike known as the Hyper Scrambler. This thing has a 1,000 watt motor and two gigantic batteries, giving it a range of 100 miles and a top speed of 33 miles per hour. This thing's practically a moped and there are very few e-bikes that can compete against it. So to see how our $500 e-bike stacks up, we're taking them both on a 45 mile bike ride to our favorite campsite in the mountains. So the Hyper Scrambler we know can make this drive, but that's to be expected, it's $3,000. On the other hand, our $500 e-bike should make this drive. Although the battery's smaller, this entire bike's about 100 pounds lighter. But there's only one way to find out. It works! So we finally made it off the main roads. Down this path is our local trail. For the majority of the ride, this trail will actually lead us to the campsite. And then there's like 10 or 15 miles of back roads and one highway. Then we're basically there. So since the trail's starting, we're going to do a drag race between the Hyper Scrambler and our e-bike. You ready, dude? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Full throttle, full throttle. Yep. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I'm leaving you, dude. No way. This bike is absolutely incredible. Right now I'm going 30. Because of how lightweight our e-bike was, if I started pedaling, I could easily get it up to 35, 40 miles per hour. It's faster than the Hyper Scrambler. And this is a fast, fast e-bike. How you feel? This is insane. Dude, this bike is the fastest e-bike we have. That's amazing. It's crazy. That's so crazy. Oh. Hey, Colby. What's up? I think it died. What? Yeah. 32 miles. 32? Yeah, it's pretty good from no pedaling. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. So our new bike died and we still have about 15 miles left. Well, we have a plan and it's kind of crazy. I was going to pedal. Because Kobe still has battery power in the Scrambler, he's gonna get to the campsite, set up the tent, and just save us some time. But I have about 12 miles left on manpower. And so at this, and at this rate, it definitely looks like I'll be riding in the dark. So I just made it to the end of the trail. Luckily, the lights came back on. The, the motor still doesn't work, but at least I have light because now it's time for the country roads. The back country roads, oh yeah. It's a little freaky being out here by myself. There's not much going on and it's kind of quiet. <laughs> I mean, just like, there's woods on either side of me. I'm just so glad my lights came back on where cars can see me. <laughs> so riding the bike without a motor is not bad at all. This is a very light e-bike. Right now I'm going up a hill and I'm, I'm traveling 12 miles per hour. As you guys saw, if that hyper scrambler ran out of battery, you're done. You, you're walking that bike. This bike isn't quite as good all around as the hyper scrambler. Hyper scrambler stops faster. You can haul stuff with it. 
you know it's just got this massive motor huge tires but it's still three thousand dollars i think at the end of the day you can't beat a 500 hour e-bike that goes 33 miles per hour with a 30 plus mile range on throttle only you just can't you can't beat it we're almost there we got one big scary road coming up and then uh i have to find colby yes we did it we're here oh we made it colby let's start a fire let's roast some dogs dude all done.